So we've uh, moved into the driveway. <laughs> Too late. So when you put the pink in, it's gonna turn a different color. After daddy cools off in the freezer. When the leaves in San Kalai, I will be there every time. Let me be your high tide. High tide, high tide. Just like the water I can I rush you back every time. Let me be your high tide. Hello there people of the internet. It is Saturday and it's Saturday afternoon. Rev just woke up, haven't gotten her yet, but we are outside working on the wood wall. Look at all this wood we've got. Yeah. Ariana's providing some assistance in layout. Hey, Air Bear. Hi. You are such a cutie. You want your sissy to come out and play with you? You want Revy to come out and play? So we've uh, moved into the driveway and we're getting stuff situated. A lot of progress, guys. The sun's shining over there, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, but, like, it's almost all lined up. We're adding in, like, the last few sparse areas. But we can't actually put it together till we get the nail gun. And they'll, we're like, we're making it into two pieces so that it locks into one another. Um, and so we have to get a nail gun to, these are what are gonna be used to lock them into each other. I am super thankful though that we are just doing this um, for video purposes because we don't have to make the ends like perfect. We don't have to get exact measurements. Um, so that's nice because you're only gonna see like a smaller portion of it. Um, and sure, like if it was like straight, perfectly flush, it might look nicer. Um, I might though, once we have it all attached together, um, have my stepdad bring his saw horses and his, um, circular saw and the router because we want to use the router hey mom and tim maybe have you guys bring our stuff over so that we can like do a straight line on the edges of all of them um and then take the router to round off the edges just so it looks nicer maybe on the wall um i don't really care that much though <laughs> whatever so we'll see we'll decide when time comes but we've actually gotten a lot done oh you want that yes oh i see She's just come over here to ask for this. What is that that you have? A snack. A snack, you want that snack? Yeah. All right, I'll come in and open it. Ari, are you gonna sit like you were sitting before? You gonna put your leg up? You're so cute, Ari. Just enjoying your fidget cube. Stand up, you stand. Stand up, good job. Look at you. God's commands themselves first, which I love that, right? Because it's easy to talk about what we want for our kids, but then not do it ourselves. So one of the commitments they made is they want to commit to it themselves. The other thing they committed to is that they are accepting responsibility as the primary influencer and trainer of their child. So we're here to help them, but the primary influencers in their children's lives are them. And so that's what they're committing to by doing this family dedication. Another thing they've committed to is to love their child unconditionally. That their kid is not perfect, their children are sinners. We're going to talk about that today in the sermon. But even though their children are, are sinners, they are committing, just the way God loves them unconditionally, them as parents, they're committing to love their children unconditionally as well. And the last thing they commit to by doing this is they commit to pray for the salvation of their children. And none of these children, children from what I know, know Jesus yet. And so they're praying for the salvation of their children. That one day, their children, when they get to the age where they can make their own decision, they will, they're praying for the salvation of their child. And Revlin is two years old. She's two years old. Even though she looks three years old, she's two years old. Right, Rev? 
So follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children, and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. I love that verse for both of you. You guys are so sweet. vlog this morning but it's Monday I'm not posting a vlog today because I just had a really rough day yesterday um, Mother's Day was great it was just other stuff going on with like PTSD and things um, but the evening was just kind of tough and so today I've just been really kind of out of it I don't know just all over the place but Rev just woke up from a nap and we have these cool spoons here that change colors with frozen treats so we actually pureed up some strawberries for um, something that we made last week, but we're gonna we're gonna eat it kind of like it's ice cream with these. Okay, so when you put the pink in, it's gonna turn a different color, right? Ready? All right. Should we count to twenty? Yeah. All right. You wanna count with me? One. Two. Two. What's next? Three. No. Four, four. Five. Five, six, a different, I don't know if they can tell. This one's turning blue. Well, this one definitely turned color. This one's turning purple. This one's turning orange. Do you see all the colors? Look how it's orange. Why, hello there. I'm home from work. It is 81 degrees in this house. I'm sweating just sitting here. And uh, I'm sure Ariana told you that our air conditioning went out on, well, Saturday we realized it wasn't working, but it may have been Friday or even Thursday. So, it's hot. But, uh, just hanging out with the girls. I sent Re or sent Ariana to the bedroom so she can take a little bit of a nap because she's just really tired. And Lolly's lollipop. Revy's lollipop. And we plugged it. Ari, Ari broke it. Yeah. I'm sorry, but Ari's playing with some Legos. We're having a fun time. And then uh, at six o'clock, we gotta make some dinner. We have chicken nuggets. You want chicken nuggets? Okay. After daddy cools off in the freezer. It is time to end the vlog. And you know what I'm gonna do? Ask a question of the day today. Right here from these speakeasy cards. If you haven't seen these, go check out Uncreated Crowd video from last week. And we unboxed these and Ariana and I had a little fun with them. Today's question of the day. If you were restarting civilization on Mars, what key ideas or structures might you start with? The ideas I would start with is 
life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Like the movie, you know? Classical education and self-reliance. You are free to do what you want as long as you are not impeding on another's individual rights. As far as structure goes, definitely you need like housing and then some sort of food development, whether it be crops, animals, you name it. You gotta have it, otherwise you're gonna starve to death. And some sort of transportation would also be good as well. Let me know your answer in the comments down below. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And as always, we will see your beautiful faces on Wednesday, on Friday. Bye.